I am making quick cinnamon buns. So the first thing I did is make sure I scrubbed my hands really well because part of this is going to be mixed up by hand. So I've got two cups of flour, two teaspoons of baking soda, I mean baking powder, sorry, a uh, teaspoon of salt, three tablespoons of white sugar. Mix those all up. Oh, if I didn't mention, these are quick cinnamon buns that are just going to go in the oven. There's no yeast or anything involved. Three tablespoons of softened butter. So I've mixed up the flour and now I'm just going to mix the butter in. I've got the oven preheating 400. I've greased a glass pan that I'm going to use. It's a, I don't know, 9 by, 9 by maybe 4. You can use a 9 by 9, but that's what I had. So I have three quarters of a cup of milk. To that I'm going to add one beaten egg. Mix that up. Once that's mixed, I'm going to add it to the flour. Once the dough is all mixed up, I'm going to flour my surface and I have a rolling pin here and I'm going to roll my dough out. So that's the first part ready. Now for the filling part, I've got half a cup of brown sugar, a little bit more because I had a little, maybe eighth of a cup left in the bag, so I'm just using that up. A tablespoon of cinnamon and half a cup of white sugar. So just mix those up. What I'm going to do with this, the majority of it I'm going to uh, use on the dough, but I have a flour dish, I mean a butter dish here, and I'm going to put, I'm going to sprinkle the bottom, maybe with a tablespoon or so of the uh, sugar mixture. So, like so, it's covered. That's where my dough is going to go in. This is going to make 18 uh, buns. So, use maybe Two tablespoons of softened butter and spread it over your dough. And then your sugar mixture, sprinkle that all over your dough. Yes, please. My daughter just asked me if I wanted a coffee. Yes, I do. So once that's done, from the long end, roll up your dough, like so. And you're going to cut it into... Um, 
18 pieces. And the easiest way to do that, I don't know how come this is kind of sticky. Always something when you bake. My stuff never is perfect. I'm not a perfect baker by any means, but that's all right. So roll that. Jesus tears easy. Anyhow, so roll that up like so. Now the easiest way to um, get 18 pieces is to cut it in half and then do each half one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Like so, and then you're going to cut it. And each piece <coughs> is going to go in the pan like that. And put all 18 pieces, 400 degree oven for 20 to 25 minutes. But I'm going to check mine right around the 18 minute mark. I don't want anything burning. So here are the finished cinnamon buns. And I also made um, cream cheese frosting. It is four ounces of cream cheese, which is half a pack, quarter cup of butter, or margarine, like whatever, and one cup of icing sugar, and half a teaspoon of vanilla. So then you just mix that all up, and then icing your cinnamon buns. So I have a little piece here. I will icing. That one I broke. And I'll try it out. Delicious. So you can make them start to finish probably 20 minutes and then cool them for about five minutes, icing them, so even a half hour before breakfast. An hour if you um, are very precise with your cooking. But these are quick, no yeast cinnamon buns, delicious.